What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And today, especially for my new viewers and subscribers, we're going to do a little tour of my kitchen to let you see how it really goes down in the Cooking with Doug labs. If you know anybody that loves to collect kitchen gadgets, go ahead. I'm to warn you from now. Go ahead and send this video to them. They will definitely appreciate it and say, you know what? This dude understands. <laughs> And right there is my island, and that's where I do my videos. All right, guys. So first, I'm going to start at the top of my refrigerator. Right there, you see some green bananas. Big up to all my Caribbean people. Y'all know what that is. That's some low-carb, keto-friendly bread right there. But right here is my Ninja Never Dull knife set. Right there, it has the knife sharpener. I don't have all my knives in there because some of them are in my dishwasher and some of them I probably accidentally put in my uh, drawer where I have my regular knives. But that's awesome. So let's look at the rest of the top of my cabinet. So right there are my three multi-cookers. Um, to the left you have the Kasori multi-cooker and in the middle Ninja. And then to the right is my uh, Instant Pot Dutch oven which is completely awesome. What a multi-cooker is, um, it's basically a crock pot on steroids because this can sear and saute, it can bake, it can steam, it can roast, and slow cook, of course. It's just completely awesome. Right there is my Chef IQ that's not currently working. It has to do some type of firmware update to maybe get it going. I may just give this away. This is my Cuckoo pressure cooker slash multi-cooker, which is awesome. It talks to you. It, it's crazy. If you, <laughs> you have to see the video that I did. It's a little confusing to use, but it's awesome. Right here, these two items are my, um, I use this to make large quantities of rice. So this is my cook's companion and my aroma. These are multi-cookers as well, but I just use this to cook. Like if I need to make like six quarts, uh, six cups, not quarts, six cups of rice or more, five, six cups, I could easily do it with these. That's my popcorn maker right there. And this is like my salad spinner that I really need to start using. But I'm proud of myself because I actually have room. I have room over there, I have room in the middle and I have room there, that's cool. <laughs> that's an accomplishment for me. All right, let's get to the counter now, guys. So this is my egg maker. I make my hard boiled eggs here. I make hard boiled eggs pretty much every day. I have it, my diabetic breakfast go-to is two eggs, sliced up cucumbers, and half of an avocado, tomatoes, um, celery, yeah, and these eggs. Might throw in some sausage or bacon, but yeah. So this is my Arc sparkling water maker. It is completely awesome. You see, I got some diet, um, generic soda stream Dr. Pepper right there. I'll show you how it works. It's pretty cool. Now I have the Arc bottle, but I when I'm using Soda Stream drink mixes such as this Diet Dr. Pepper, which tastes pretty much like Dr. Pepper, I like to use my Soda Stream um, bottle that I bought from Walmart. You know, all you do is just fill the water to that um, line that you see right there. Of course, filtered water would be the best, but tap water will work too. I just screw it in like that, and then I pull down this lever a couple times. <laughs> pour my drink mix almost all the way to the top and the reason why I'm using a soda stream bottle to do this is because the people that own a um, arc this is a $200 machine and they would find it disrespectful that I'm using this in the arc because arc doesn't promote flavored drinks they want you to just do the sparkling water and then Pour it in your glass and add whatever you want, but just clean stuff like lemons, lime, that type of stuff. And you take it, go like this a couple times. You just pour it in. This could be you guys. And by the way, shout out to all my diabetics out there, type 1 and 2. 
All right, guys, moving along. This is my bread maker that you never see me use on camera because I don't make bread too well. <laughs> I did an unboxing on this and I made some bread. It looked like Elephant Man's neck, but it tasted fantastic. But I don't know how to pronounce this, but I call it a Zo. A lot of people call it a Zo. So this is a Zo bread maker. It's absolutely fantastic. You got the two paddles in there. awesome and if anyone knows how to make low carb bread in this bread machine please let me know come over here and show me how to do it so i could put it on camera so people could do it and i could just make it like once every two weeks that would be completely awesome because ain't nothing like fresh fresh bread in your house the smell is just unbelievable anywho this is my wine opener my electric wine opener it's awesome it glows blue and this is my rice cooker. Um, this Anytime I'm cooking rice on camera, you probably won't see this, but this is what I use. This does up to three cups of rice. And most of the time I do a half a cup to a cup. And even with company, I don't think I go past two cups, but this could do three cups. And it does it for 20 minutes and goes to keep warm automatically. Super easy. Guys, this is my food saver. A lot of you ask what food saver I use. This is my food saver. The reason why I forget the name of it, because the name of it is called food saver. That is the funniest thing. So it's like, imagine you having like an air fryer that you love. And then someone asks you, what's the name of your air fryer? Air fryer. <laughs> Anywho, I got this at Sam's Club. Sam sells the upgraded version to this because I got this like five years ago. Um, I love the Food Saver brand because it's quality and it's compatible with a lot of accessories such as vacuum pumps and all that good stuff. So those who know, know. Next up, we have my blender. Um, this is a Vitamix, of course. Excuse the dust. Um, I got a Vitamix. I used to use Ninja blenders, which is awesome. I love Ninja blenders because they give you soup. They give you all the accessories in the world. You'll get a spiralizer, you get a food processor, you'll get all sorts of stuff. The Vitamix you just get just the bare minimum, but it's a quality blender and I plan to have this forever. So that's why I end up buying a Vitamix. This is my Ninja coffee maker. I don't drink coffee a lot. This is more or less for company or just to have, you know, you just, to me, I'm one of those people that you just should have a coffee maker. Even if you don't drink coffee, you still should have a coffee maker. Maybe not as fancy as this, but, you know, I do videos. And shout out to everybody that watched this the video unboxing on this. This got a lot of views last year. I appreciate y'all. This is what I would boil water with. This is the uh, KitchenAid. It's awesome. I'll show you how it works. Just put some water in there and just press this button. And about... A minute it'll be boiling so there's about a minute and we're done and I have it set to there what I love about this guys the bottom of this is very cool it's you know it's cool to the touch you would if I put my hand under here it wouldn't even burn it like right there it just it doesn't feel anything it doesn't even feel warm but that right there feels hot um, so that's what I love about this. So you could put it on any surface, wood, your counters or whatever, and pour your boiling water, um, wherever you need it, whether it be in your attic, outside, in your kitchen, in your garage, whatever have you. But you might be saying, well, Doug, I could just, just get a kettle and put it on your stovetop and make boiling water. Wrong. Cause I don't have a stove. <laughs> uh, shout out to all my peeps that. Thinking about getting rid of this stove, I did. I remodeled my kitchen in 2021 and sold my stove. And I knew I had to get rid of it because um, I was storing stuff in my oven. I was like, my oven's full of storage. So what's the point in having it? And guys, this is my Blackstone 22-inch griddle. I'll show you. Let me take the cover off. So think of this as a big frying pan. I can cook, fry up, scramble as many pancakes, eggs, sausages, whatever have you on this. So this is my stovetop right here.
And that's my microwave, guys, Samsung. Let's look at the gadgets down here in the oven area. <laughs> so that's my Instant Pot Pro Plus. Y'all know that. That's the Ninja Speedy. That's the Ninja Deluxe. And this is my 14 quart go wise pressure cooker. Excuse the dust, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a guy. Some of y'all might be saying, you know what, Doug? All that's cute, but you know what? I still need a traditional stove top to cook my stuff, and I got you covered. See this right here? Oh, you see there in the back there? That's an Instant Pot Mini. Introducing my New Wave portable cooktop. And believe it or not, I have a whole copper set of pots, just in case. Never use them, but I have them just in case. But what's unique about this stovetop is it only works with induction or cast iron. So this is induction ready, the bottom of this frying pan right here. This is what it looks like. It's like a metal. So that and cast iron. And what's great about it is it transfers the heat to the pot or cast iron immediately through this. And when you take it off, you can put your hand on there and it won't be hot. I mean, it'll be a little hotter than warm, but not like ouch hot, not even close. But it goes through really quick. So that's what it would look like if I swapped out the griddle and put that there. It would look like a regular stovetop almost. Well, no, stovetop has four, but you get the point. This is about three minutes in. So ladies, you spend the night, no excuses. I need my cheesy eggs done on time. <laughs> of course it can bake, it can roast, reheat, it can broil. Of course toast, it can air fry, it can grill, proof. I don't even know what that, how to pronounce that. Dehydrate, slow cook, just so much stuff. It works with your Echo device, like watch this. Turn on June oven. Okay, at what temperature? 500. Preheating June oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit for baking. Uh, turn off June oven. Okay. I also love about this machine is you can clean it the insides with easy off. This is oven cleaner. That's unique to 99.8% of all your toaster ovens out there. And it cleans it to perfection and I need to clean mine, I know, but it is what it is. Let's use degreaser for the inside and then, you know, uh, glass cleaner for the outside. But this is what the inside looks like. Like I said, I need to clean mine, but it's all good. I can at least. Some of your ovens, they look like this and you, there's nothing you could do about it. And by the way, some retired um, Apple engineers uh, made this machine, which is unfortunately because I'm Samsung to the death. So I really don't want much Apple products in my... <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show you how cool this machine is. Watch this. So we got two eggs in there. Watch. So when I close it, it knows. Some garlic bread in there. It knows. French fries? Yep, it knows. Chicken nuggets? Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little hungry doing this video. I'm gonna make a grilled cheese, a low carb grilled cheese sandwich right here in the June oven. Put some sharp cheese on there, two pieces. Don't you worry, guys. I'm going to clean all that up. Look at that. <laughs> guys, I'm so hungry. I took a bite out of it without giving you the first bite. Well, I'll give you the second bite. You got it? Mmm. That's good. And shout out to Cooking with CJ. This is my Ninja... 
grill. This is a 2021 model. This is all what it can do. Grill, roast, broil, bake, barbecue, griddle, air fry, dehydrate. Pretty cool machine. And this is my favorite standalone air fryer, guys. This is the Kasori Dual Blaze. I did over 30 videos on this. I have a playlist. And I'll put that in the description so you could check it out as well. But it's cool. This also works with the Echo device. And what's unique about this, it cooks on the top and bottom. So it is a Ninja Grill. But this is just a standalone air fryer that can do that to perfection. Since it's Friday, I'll hook my son up, my oldest son, AJ, up. He's coming home from school in about 20 minutes. Um, we'll throw this in the air fryer for him and just keep it in there, and he'll just take it out when it's when he gets here. And those that don't know, this is Sam's Club Nuggets. It tastes, to us, it tastes just like Chick-fil-A Nuggets. Almost, I'd say about 90% identical. Has that pickle flavor, all that good stuff. Those you know, know. And remember, I told you this air fryer cooks top and bottom, so I'll show you. And it works with your Echo device or Google. Alexa, turn on Kasori air fryer at 400 for seven minutes. Air frying for seven minutes at 400 degrees. There you have it. No flip, guys, to perfection. Let's take one out. See? Now let's move on. This is my Ninja One Lid. Awesome machine. Look at all the stuff that it can do, guys. Pressure cook, steam and crisp. And this can do all of this with one lid. You don't have to change out the lid so I can air fry, I can pressure cook, all under one lid, one machine. And finally, we have my Ninja Impossible Cooker. This is cast iron, guys. This is like a another multi-cooker, you know. It's like a slow cooker on steroids. This is all of what it can do. Completely awesome. I love this machine. All right, let's get to the sink area, guys. This is my sink. Deep sink. These are gloves you see me wearing my videos sometimes. It's AJ's pencils if he needs them before he goes to school. <laughs> and this is my Echo device. So this is what you hear in the background when I ask for, you know, to set the timer or if I want to turn on my Kosori air fryer or my June oven or whatever have you. Okay, guys, this is where it's going to get ugly. <laughs> All right, so down here, that's what, my waffle maker, my marinating thing, that machine that I marinate this down here. That's a Ninja blender. I do quick blends on that. That's a pulsator down there. That's my KitchenAid down to the right, KitchenAid five-quart uh, food processor. Uh... That's a sandwich maker up there. What's that over there? I don't even know what that is. So much stuff back here. There's probably some other stuff back there, but... And probably, oh, and the rest of my Vitamix, um, you know, blender parts, probably. Oh, it's going to get worse. So right here is all my inserts, you know, to my uh, pressure cookers, whether it be Instant Pot or Ninja Foodie, racks and silicone stuff from just many gadgets that I've had during the years. Let's go over here. More racks and stuff. So I don't know if you can see it down there. Down to the left is my DeLonghi air fryer. Shout out to Booger 500 US. 
um, and to the you can't see it, but to the bottom right, there is a um, meat slicer that I need to give away because Gourmet sent me a new one a couple months ago. So I have a meat slicer so I can slice up cold cuts, cheese, all that good stuff, just like a deli. And up here is where I keep all my manuals. Well, I try to keep all my manuals. All right, and up here is like my emergency stuff. So that's my little portable um, generator thingy. I think that's only 300 watts, so. And that's like a, a light, a little electric lantern and just some more cleaning stuff. Just glasses, bunch of glasses, bunch of shot glasses. And the last three cabinets are my um, medicine cabinets. So let's go down here. This is all my outside grilling stuff and we're gonna go outside too. And this is all my Tupperware, or plastic stuff, should I say. That's my dishwasher, and this is where I keep all my cleaning stuff down there. And well, um, down here is nothing. I usually keep shopping bags and just stuff that I don't want in there, so there's nothing to look in there. And so right here is another mess. <laughs> Just more stuff. Another induction uh, cooktop. Just random stuff. Somehow, magically, I know where everything is somehow. And we got stuff up here. All right, guys, let's go to the pantry. That's another. <laughs> All right. So. That's my turkey fry up to the upper left, and that's a portable ice maker to the right up there, and that's the mess somehow. Well, I don't know where everything is in here, but eventually I will find it. <laughs> I got some gadgets in here too, but down there somewhere. But yeah, just wanted to show you that. And of course, we couldn't forget to show you my paper towel dispenser. Isn't that cool? You see that in all my videos. And it just come back by itself. And this is my trash. goes down by itself and me back up because it, it's probably sensing I'm too close to it yeah and that's an extra battery for my video camera I'm using my phone today but I'm going to show you my video camera nothing special about it anyway but right here this this area right here is where I put stuff where I'm going to give away like I'm going to be giving away this is my Paula Dean multi cooker um this is my Gourmia, what is it, air fryer slash pancaker maker. I'm going to give that to Goodwill. This Gourmia, I'm not giving away. I just keep it there. This is a basic air, eight quart air fryer digital, but for Black Friday, this goes on sale for super cheap. I'm talking like, I, I think I saw it for 50 something one day, but it is the most, people go for this on Black Friday or whenever they have these sales because it's the biggest most cheapest but it is reliable it works just as good as my kasori so if you're looking to buy a uh, air fryer as a gift to somebody or yourself if you want to upgrade and get just a modern looking basic air fryer this would be it. i'll leave a link in the description right there is my um what do you call it um crux gg dual basket air fryer i'll be giving that away soon that's some beverages right there. <laughs> Heineken lights, AJ Sprites and some water. Right there is what I use to clean my floors. I got an iRobot and a little portable vacuum that a company sent me, big ups to them. 
So my bay windows right there and that clock right there works with my echo device like for instance Alexa set timer for 30 seconds 30 seconds starting now well you can't see it I love using this so like if I'm setting a timer and I'm doing a video I can sit in my living room and just look and see how much time I have left like say if I'm using Ninja Foodie or Instant Pot, and I'm, I don't know, making a pot roast or oxtails, and I set the timer for an hour. I can set this for 50 minutes and see how far along I am without sitting in my kitchen, babysitting it. And this is my TV, guys. We've got a Bose soundbar, direct TV. And this is my closet. It's junky. It's my brooms. Oh, my mop is in the garage. My clean lady just left yesterday. That's my camera. I'm going to show you that. Right here is my um, surround sound. So this uh, channel A is for the kitchen and channel B is for outside. If I put A and B, it'll play in the kitchen and outside at the same time. If I do B, it'll just play outside. And I'll show you those speakers in a second as well. And this, I use this to mop this machine right here. It's abyssal. It's pretty cool. It vacuums and mops. Excuse the mess. <laughs> Those are my speakers for inside that that receiver controls. And I got one right here too. And now we're about to go outside. All right, well, let's go to the backyard. It's got some more gadgets out there. All right. So this is the backyard. Oh, let me not lock myself out. Yeah. Ooh, I was close. <laughs> All right, so this is my backyard, guys. I'm going to show you the gadgets in a second. Or well, my grill, should I say. Here's what I... I put food out for the birds within that little blue thing. Shout out to all my birds that eat my food that I put out here. Charcoal grill. Griddle. This is going to go in my garage. I just put it out here because of the uh, monument... Uh, giveaway I just did a video on. Shout out to Monument Girls one time. These are my tables. A whole bunch of stuff under there. A gas grill here. Alright, let me take it off for this video, I guess. This is my gas grill, guys. And these knobs glow at night. It looks real nice. It glows blue. And it even has a light here, too. It has a sear thing for steaks and then it has an eye for just whatever that's my shed over there and this this is my 36 inch griddle slash air fryer so the top is a 36 inch griddle and down here are three basket air fryers so it's a combo guys about $600 at Walmart if you wanted to know. I actually have one gadget in my shed. Shout out to Tina one time. <laughs> she keeps mentioning it. My lawnmower, guys. Shout out to Works. Got a bunch of Works tools. All run off of uh, batteries that could, you know, rechargeable batteries and stuff. It's the perfect weather to fire it up now, I tell you. Oh, and by the way, this stand came with my 22-inch griddle that I have inside that I use for stovetop use. I just keep this out here to put stuff on. Like this portable TV. And I have a fire stick hooked up to it so I can watch direct TV, etc. Now, this is my smoker with my indoor smoker on top of it. <laughs> Now, I keep my indoor smoker um, out here. When I use it, I let the smoke smell come out of it. Then I clean it and bring it inside. Man, I need to clean this. This is a charbroil, guys. And this is an awesome way to make a turkey for Thanksgiving. If you've never had smoked turkey, it is the bomb. I'm going to take this out of here. Let me do that. So right here is an internal meat probe. Can you see it where it goes? Yeah, right there. 
Um, when I made my turkey the other year, I just put the meat probe in, of course, cleaned it, seasoned it, put the meat probe in, put it into the temperature that I want, then it went to keep warm. Most flavorful turkey I've ever had. So whether you have an indoor turkey fryer or a smoker outside, both of those will cook your Thanksgiving turkey better than anybody's oven turkey. And by the way, this is my flooring that I put down. This is not wood, it's vinyl. So I could take a whole bucket of water and pour it down. Nothing will happen. This is vinyl, not wood. So that's awesome. So let me show you where I do my videos at. So I usually get this extension cord right here. And then I plug in my gadget right there. And that's the camera I use. And then you'll just see my hands go blah, 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 blah. Just like that. All right, guys, we're going to go in my garage. Excuse the mess. That's my deep freezer, guys. Not much in there. Yeah, nothing exciting. But there's good stuff on the bottom, though, of course. <laughs> Excuse the mess. I was doing work on my electric bike. But anyway, this is my portable pellet grill um, that you saw a video on the other day. That's a battery um, on the top of it for my bike. Excuse that. And it has the portable stand under it. So this is ready to go to be put in the back of my truck. And I could, you know, take my pellets and be gone and cook anywhere. Because if you saw my video, this, run, this runs off of electric. But it could also run off a 300 watt generator, which I have. I showed you that in my kitchen. So literally, I can pellet grill anywhere I want. In a tree house, uh, in the back of a building, wherever, at any park or whatever have you, or in front and back or in the side of your house. <laughs> oh, this is cool too to my fellas out there. This is a vacuum cleaner, kind of the ones that you see in like a car wash. So this sucks and blows. Pause. Of course, I got the little tool station right there. Got the vintage arcade machine, flat screen on deck. We got an Xbox 360 up there, plus an arcade computer. Both modded with over 2,000 games on them. And finally, let me turn on my light so you guys can see. I have my Blackstone. 17 inch griddle slash air fryer combo. I love cooking out in my garage. You know, of course I have the garage door open and usually spring, summer and early fall. Like, but right now, no, I won't be back out there until next year, next spring. But this is awesome. I can air fry, I can griddle, no problem. Runs off of propane. Well, that's all I got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to all my new subscribers, new viewers, as well as my existing. I just wanted to show you guys how it goes down in my kitchen. And don't forget to share this with someone that you know, whether it be a female or male, that loves kitchen gadgets. Because I want the world to see that there's someone just as crazy as them out there. <laughs> Usually someone crazy like me won't video their stuff, but, you know, this is what I do for a living, so... Why not show you, right? So anyway, that's all I got, man. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. We out.